Happy Wednesday! It's lunch with the doc. Yes. Welcome. So glad you joined us. We're here in the beautiful beach. And right here in downtown Laguna Beach. Yep. I mean, today's talk is all about walk. Oh. To talk about walk. Can you walk the talk? <laughs> Can you walk the talk? Can you talk the walk? We're here to talk the walk and walk the talk today. And we're gonna use beautiful Laguna Beach as the area to walk. I mean, look where we are. It's glorious. Now today... Spring has sprung. People are blowing bubbles over there. Oh, I yeah. mean, people are out supping. Like, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We're so grateful we're, to live where we are. Mm -hmm, we're blessed. And um, today we're gonna do the walking probably with shoes on, although the very best walking happens when you can take your shoes off mm -hmm. or wear leather soled shoes mm -hmm. and be right on the earth because your body picks up the magnetic charge of the earth. The magnetics of the earth are so incre incredible that it's called grounding when you do that. But if you think about what is it that moves the ocean all the way up into high tide and low tide? Mm -hmm. It's magnetism. It's the magnetic pull between the moon and the earth that moves the entire ocean. So think magnetic pulls or poles are important and powerful. They're extremely powerful. That's what does the whole thing. So let's take a walk. Yeah. Let's walk. Let's walk in time. Oh no, bring back. Should we get to come in front? Alright. Okay, so why is walking so important? What does it do? Well, you know. I always ask Maria to get the research mm -hmm. because what she does, mm -hmm. she blinds me with science. Yes, I do. And we have lots of science here today. Some of it um, has is comes from Harvard University. Some of it comes from the Arthritis Foundation. Some of it comes from Dr. Daniel Pompa. Some of it comes from Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. And what they're finding is that walking is considered probably the most effective exercise overall and we're going to tell you some of the reasons why we say that is mm -hmm. and yes i am past 43 years old so i do need reading glasses i hope it never happens to anybody else <laughs> goodness i was at a restaurant over here one time when i was about 43 and i was trying to read the uh the menu and it was very low lit and it was dark kind of goldish parchment paper mm. with fine little script and I was looking and I go man I can't read anything and my wife uh, my wife's friend Martha was sitting next to me and she seen me she goes what are you doing I said uh, I can't really read the menu she goes here try these on she had these women's point glasses that go up like this on the side I went, I'm not wearing those she goes just put them on and tell me if you read it I put them on it's like oh my gosh she goes these are reading glasses you need them uh -oh. It's like, okay. Now He's I like, hmm. So oh anyhow, my. that's why I have these on. I know I got off a little track there of, of the aging process. Track. But speaking of aging, this comes mm. from Harvard Health. He's, uh, this is the Dr. Thomas Frieden. He says that walking is the closest thing we have to a wonder drug. Ooh, walking. that's cool. I like that. Isn't walking that cool? the new wonder drug. So, you know, he, he says, don't be surprised if your doctor Walking. hands you a prescription to walk every day. Ooh, that's good. Now, multiple short walks that ha for people that have problems with, their, with hunger or detoxification, um, multiple short walks are really beneficial. Yeah. Even like a five to eight minute walk, five to eight times a day. Mm -hmm. So if you can park at the end of the, um, of the parking lot, and walk into the store mm -hmm. and then walk back out and walk through the store you know those yeah, are yeah there's lots of walks. ways you can incorporate walking into your day so just start thinking like how can i just make some time to walk i like that parking far away from something or you know when you're at work it's really important to get up and just walk like take a little lap take a break they say that sitting is the new smoking they talk about how sitting is so bad for you so it's really important to just like throughout the day this way josh there we go. Josh is being an amazing cameraman. He's walking yeah, he's backwards. walking backwards. As we're so. walking forwards, he's getting like double walking benefits by walking backwards. Yeah. So that's a good thing. It's pretty um, amazing. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so anyways, when you're at work, try taking some breaks from sitting, stand, walk, move around. Stairs, walk up, yeah. up and down stairs. Mm -hmm. They find the people that have stairs in their house 
live longer. Ooh. So let's get into some of the science, okay? Let's get into the science. Why right. is walking so good for you? What does it really do? Well, Harvard researchers looked at obesity promoting genes. Those are called, called obesity genes. And they found that these genes on a genetic level, the more that a person walks, it changes their genetic transcription of the DNA and the mitochondria, how it works, and it actually makes it so your body doesn't have a tendency want to want to put on weight. It turns down these obesity genes. So Turn that, down the obesity genes. Yeah, I like and, that. And that's just by walking. Well, we're, so we're getting one. so many benefits right now. Alright, you want to take the next one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it helps tame the sweet tooth. How many of you have a sweet tooth? I know I do, but... Candy! Candy! We all love our sweets. And actually, our food just is like, so packed good. with sugar. Okay. It's insane. We were... So, we were just in Nashville over the weekend for an amazing seminar. We learned all about detoxification, cancer prevention, ketogenic diets, fasting, all this new Weight amazing, loss resistance, weight loss why resistance. people can't lose weight. It was unbelievable and so many good things that we learned. Um, but one thing they talked about was the sugar addiction that so many of us have in our society. It's actually, it's actually like classified as an addiction because they put so much sugar in our food and then we get addicted to it and it creates so many problems. So walking can help tame the sweet tooth, which is really good. There was a pair of studies at the University of Exeter found that a 15 minute walk can curb cravings for chocolate and even reduce the amount of chocolate you eat in, success, in stressful situations. I love that, that's hilarious. So anyways, it can curb reduce, sweet tooth. reduce your cravings. So that's a good thing. We all need that. This one says that researchers know, and they've been able to test this, that you can have a 14% less risk of breast cancer wow. if you're taking regular walks That's on a daily awesome. basis. That's awesome. That right there. Actually, they said. Well, it's enough for me to walk every day. Okay, so they said that the American Cancer zeroed in on walking walking women who walk seven or more hours a week. Now that's, wow. that's a, you know, that's an hour walk on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, or throughout the day walking, yep. you know, could be up to an hour. So if you walk seven to eight hours a week, 14% reduced risk, that's pretty amazing. That's the best shooting pregnant woman I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. She's That's good. Amazing. <laughs> oh, hey. Yes. Lunch with the dog. All right. Every Wednesday. See ya. Oh, oh. This is the best part of lunch with the dog. Get out in the town. You see everybody you love. It's great. It's I've so never much. seen a pregnant woman shoot baskets. Before. Uh, that's pretty amazing. And That's the first good. one I, I looked over, I saw it, it was swish. I go, whoa. Swish. I got shot. Boom. Okay, what's next? Okay, I got next the next one. Is next. shooting baskets is really good because it's a lot like walking. You walk to get the ball. You know, any kind of exercise helps yes. all these things. Okay, walking reduces joint pain. There have been several studies that found that with arthritis-related pain, Walking can help reduce it. I mean, what we say at Health and Balance is where there's movement, there is life. And if. Nice one. <laughs> I just saved Josh from falling. <laughs> um, so, if there's movement, there's life. The joints need to be moving or else they'll be fusing. So, walking can help reduce joint pain. And it. Number five, it boosts. It boosts your immune function. Oh, yeah. Walking can help protect you during cold and flu season. A study of over a thousand men and women found that those who walked at least 20 minutes a day, five days a week, had a 43% fewer sick days than those who exercise we'll once a week or less. Do you want to go up the stairs or let's just... Yeah, let's go up the stairs. Okay. Let's, We're going let's up. see what Josh see, can do. you got to do the, your stairs too. This guy too. is good. We're going to have to <laughs> turn the cameras on him at the end of this just so you can see how talented this guy is. He's walking up the stairs backwards. So walking boosts the immune system. 43%. That's amazing, by 43%. That's amazing. That's just a 20 minute walk a day. 
you're gonna get sick 43% less often. That okay. is great. There's an okay. extra for you. It improves circulation. I mean, of course, you're walking, you're moving, you're improving circulation. We need circulation for all functions of our body, so that's really amazing. They found that, um, let's see, two miles a day lowered blood pressure by nearly 11 points in 24 weeks. And women who walk wow. 30 minutes a day reduce their risk of stroke by 20% uh, and by 40% when they stepped up the pace, according to researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health in Boston. So, you know what? Improve circulation. Helps your health. Next one. Alright, next one. <laughs> Walking shores up your bones. Woo! It can stop the loss of bone mass for those with osteoporosis. And this is from a famous orthopedic um, research center in New York. Um, also, study of postmenopausal women found that 30 minutes of walking each day reduced their risk of hip fractures by 40%. Ooh, that's amazing. Wow. So, you know how they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Keep on walking and your bone strength will improve. Watch that woman on the... Yeah, there you go. Here, show that woman. <laughs> you almost, woman you almost bonked right into her. Okay, there you go. You're next. So walking leads to a longer life. That is an amazing thing. We all want greater quality of life and longer life, right? So they found that exercising regularly in their, um, da -da -da -da. yeah, those who exercise regularly in their 50s and 60s are 35% less likely to die over the next eight years than their non-walking counterparts. So that's really amazing. Okay, another thing that we found out at our seminar that was really interesting was the benefits of charcoal on longevity. I know we're talking about walking, but when you're talking about longevity and longer life, the studies have found that mice that took charcoal actually had a 43% longer life than those that didn't. So there's a lot about detoxing that's really important. And we're gonna- We'll be talking We'll be talking about that more, but that's just a little teaser. I like that little tidbit. Okay, walking lightens your mood. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel really light right now. California State University Long Beach study showed that the more steps people took during the day, the better their moods were. Why? Walking releases natural pain-killing endorphins Ooh. to the body, one of the emotional benefits of walking. I love that, that's amazing. Okay, it can lead to weight loss. We already went over that. It strengthens your muscles. So does that, wait a minute, does that mean if someone's crabby, instead of reacting to it and getting pissed off, couldn't you just say, I think it's time for you to take a walk. Yes, exactly. Yes. I think that's a really good Have tip. Have you considered taking a walk? <laughs> why would I want to take a walk? I'm mad at you right now. Well, that's exactly why. Because yes. research shows that if you take a walk, your mood will be better. It your mood. Yes. Oh, and improves your circulation, oxygen to the brain. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Okay, it strengthens your muscles. I mean, you're walking, you're toning your legs, your abs, everything. You're, you're moving. So it's a good exercise. All right. Ooh, the next one's good. Did you talk? Did you just do weight loss? We already did weight loss before. Okay. It improves weight loss. Thirty minutes can burn two hundred calories. So get your walk in. We we did we talked about strengthening the bones, but this is also strengthening the muscles. I just talked about that. You did that one, yeah. Yeah, walking improves walking sleep. Walking improves your sleep. A study from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle found that women, ages fifty to seventy-five who took one hour morning walks were more likely to relieve insomnia than Ooh. the women who didn't. That's awesome. How many of you out there struggle with insomnia, sleep issues? That's something we see from so many people. So do a little walk, maybe like an hour or two before bed and just kind of calm, think about your day, go through some gratitude of what you're grateful for, reflect and, and take a walk. It'll improve your sleep. Okay. I and like this walking thing during it and I think how, are you enjoying the process not as much as you guys it's okay you'll go forward in, in like a few minutes okay so then we're uh, walking improves your breath so you your breath your, yeah your breathing wow. rate increases because you're walking oh I thought you were talking about halitosis it takes no, away halitosis. no 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 so your oxygen travels faster through your bloodstream, helping to eliminate waste products. 
and improve your energy and your ability to heal. So that's important. Walking slows mental decline. A study of 6,000 women, ages 65 and older, performed by researchers at the University of California, found that age-related memory decline was lower in those who walked more. Ooh, that's The good. women walking two and a half miles per day had a 17% decline in memory, as opposed to a 25% decline in women who walked less than a half a mile per week. So the more we walk, the better it's going to be. Come on in here. Oh, this is the little yeah. canopy. I love this spot. Uh, we're going to finish up our little talk here, if you don't mind. So, now is it really, uh, do we get dark because yeah. of, okay, how about if we face this way? Is that a little better? Yeah. Okay. So, to summarize, Mayo Clinic says, um, a regular brisk walk can help you maintain healthy weight, prevent or manage various conditions, including heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes, strengthens your bones and muscles, improves your mood, improves your balance and coordination so you're less likely to fall, and that's one of the biggest problems for senior citizens is when they fall, they break their hip, and it's not long after that they, they're, you know, they transition. So that's kind of what we wanted to talk about. Yeah. It's just get out, take a walk, take a hike, uh, you know, get your body moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, walking is good for you. So walk throughout the day. Also, switching over to announcements, we have an amazing event coming up on Monday. Isn't that already booked? Yeah. Are there oh, any, there's, are there? a, there's a few more spots left. So seven steps to relieve neck and back pain is this Monday, 6 o'clock. Um, April 8th at our office so we're gonna be doing a bunch of different interactive stretches teaching you how you what you can do each day to relieve neck and back pain so like some simple things like even up to 10 minutes of just here's some things you can implement in your life and reduce that I'm gonna be hungry about that I don't know if I should come yeah we're gonna have dinner provided it's complimentary so it's we're gonna serving be, dinner we're serving dinner oh my god I know we're, we're we really love to give it away you know so it's going to be fun. So if you want to sign up for that, you can call us at 949-497-2553. You can also look on our website and at the announcement bar at the top, it'll show you What's where to go website? for details. Healthinbalance.com. So you can go there and sign up online. So that's going to be really good. And I mean, just give them, let's just give them a quick little tidbit of what we learned over the weekend in Nashville. And we're gonna be doing another lunch with the doc on this really soon so you guys can learn. I mean, all our whole family right now, we're on this 90 day detox and it's been amazing. We're doing a really like clean, clean diet, more ketogenic. We're incorporating fasting, we're doing supplements and it's a true cellular detox at a cellular level. So the whole Arthur family, everybody's in on it. We're through month one, so yep. it's been really good. So. What? Month one is the preparatory phase, mm -hmm. which is to stimulate your body's ability to detoxify. So it works on what are called receptors on the cell wall to activate them so that they can do the cleaning. And then this next phase that we're getting ready to do is the body phase. That'll be for a month. And then the last Ooh. phase is the brain phase. And the brain phase is where we're really going to go after loosening up toxins that are actually trapped in our brain. So we think clear, have better memories. and you know, enjoy our life even more. So that is something that we're um, we're all doing. We'll talk more about it when we're ready to launch it. But when it comes to like making recommendations, we like to really prove things out for ourselves and make sure that number one, the research is there, the science is there, and that's what's that's what's happening. Yeah. So exciting stuff. We're excited for all that is to come. So thanks for joining us. Come on Monday night and. Come to our little workshop. Yeah. Join us every Wednesday. And share this little video with a friend on Facebook, or mm -hmm. you can you can share it and you know get the good message out. It's pretty easy. Just take a walk. Take a walk. See ya. <laughs> Bye.